welcome back to the channel. Thank you, as always, for being here. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, what are we doing today? We're going to have ourselves a little bit of a midlife crisis. We're listening to Faith No More. Uh, we've listened uh, in some capacities to the first track, the first two tracks here on this album. Uh, so I figured I'd just move on to the next one. You know, so we're going to go ahead and listen to Midlife Crisis and uh, get into it. We'll see what, um, oh, what's his name? Mike? Oh, what's the lead singer's name again? He has this crazy range of vocals. I'm not going to look at it. Is it Mike? Uh, I can see him with his hair and, oh, I'm going to look really quick. I, why am I, I'm thinking Mike. I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, Mike Patton. Thank you. Thank you. I knew it was Mike. I got the first part. Let's listen to Midlife Crisis. Here we go. <laughs> the guitar and the bass roll into this part. I like a good fade out. Yeah, that's, that's fine with me. Fine with me. Oh, 
Okay. Come on. Midlife crisis? If a midlife crisis sounds like this or feels like that, honestly, it sounds kind of nice with it. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, okay. So, duh, Mike Patton. His voice is great in here. I love his... Yeah. I'm whining it, but that's not how he sounds. I just like the way that he sings it. And then he kind of gets back into that more commanding kind of barking at you. Like he's kind of doing that. He just has such a range in his voice. And I think it's pretty well on display here in this particular track. Really enjoy the little pulse of the, the bass, that gentle bump, 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 just kind of carrying you through the verse and everything. And then when the guitar comes in, especially on the second half, when the bass and guitar run to chuggy, chuggy, chuggy. Ah, oh, that's a great combination. The addition of some synth in there as well, we heard it. Uh, especially in the break there where it really opens up really nicely. And drums kind of get down a little bit there. Um, let me pull up some names. Um, uh, looks like it's going to be Roddy, Bo Roddy Bottom on the uh, keyboards there. Uh, like I said, I just really like that little synth that he weaves throughout there. And then Jim Martin on the guitar. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Billy Gould on bass and then Mike Borden on the drums. Who uh, I really like Borden's drums, especially in the beginning. Kind of giving it almost like a, 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 not exactly a tribal kind of rhythm, but in a way, a little bit of that kind of rhythm. Like the kit that he's playing on is specifically made to sound a certain way. And I really like the way that it sounds in here. And then, of course, the way that it opens up in that break a little bit later on. Sounds fantastic. Um, Structure-wise, the whole thing sounded great. I mean, this was just a really great track. Super catchy as well. Like I said, only you. I don't know. That's fun. That's a great track, a little there. That's a, that's a great little track there. Go on and wring my neck like when a rag gets wet. A little discipline. Before I go on, I forgot to mention. That's what I wanted to say. I couldn't. Do you think Faith No More had a little bit of influence uh, from King Crimson? I'm just tossing it out there. For my pet genius, my head is like lettuce. Go on, dig your thumbs in. I cannot stop giving. I'm 30-something. Sense of security like pockets jingling. Midlife crisis. Suck ingenuity down through the family tree. Uh, so is he kind of, I mean, he's talking about a midlife crisis and perhaps like life is now sucking away at you <laughs> in some capacity? You're perfect. Yes, it's true. But without me, you're only you. Your menstruating heart, which I think is a brilliant little line there. It ain't bleeding enough for two. <laughs> like, uh, you're going through your crisis right now, but the feelings you're feeling right now, it ain't helping this. I don't, I don't know actually what he's talking about. I don't know. What an inheritance. The salts and the Kleenex. Morbid self-attention bending my pinky back. A little discipline. A donor by habit. A little discipline. Rent an opinion. I, I don't know exactly. I mean... I don't know, midlife crisis, but he doesn't necessarily have to be actually talking about a midlife crisis. But I think he's using the idea and the feelings that you may have during a midlife crisis to perhaps talk about some other emotion or such. Let's, let's, let's dive into here. Let's see. Mike Patton has denied that the song is about having a midlife, crisis, a midlife crisis, as he did not know what one would feel like. But says that it's more about creating false emotion, being emotional, dwelling on your emotions, and a sense inventing them. And that the song is based on a lot of observation and a lot of speculation. But in sort of a pointed way, it's kind of about Madonna. I think in a I think it was a particular time where I was being bombarded with her image on TV and magazines, and her whole shtick speaks to me in that way. Like she's going through some sort of problem. It seems she's getting a bit desperate. Okay, gotcha. So I kind of see what he's what he's reaching with there and what he's what he's getting at. Great track though. Um, I, I just need to say something really quick because I just happened to look. <laughs> I, I, I was just scrolling through the um, the track listing for the album. I don't know about that second to last track. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought <laughs> of the track in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter. You can support <laughs> You can support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. And, um, sorry, I mean, pictures. Uh, have a great night, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.